hope you all are fine on today's video i'm going to like explain one of my assignment that was uh deduction of color from the car okay so the code is like if if you have a picture or image of any car you should tell that what is the color of that like what is the color of that uh, car so it's uh, you know what uh, all of the students who literally know the the colors and brightness and saturation all these things they know that it's very difficult for example if you have a red color so if you like increase the brightness and like there are different other impacts intensity and different other impacts that are not relevant to like the color the itself so so there are other different uh, things you need to consider in it so let's get started um, actually the key feature uh, points um, for the steps uh, of this code is first what we will do we will we are going to i think i should show um, how can i I should take a pen. Mm, I need to just, I need a pen. I don't know from where I can get it. Edit, document properties. I need to write. Just a minute, I'm just checking if how can I. Okay, so actually there was no pen. Uh, uh, that's the reason I just. I was just checking I just uh, opened it in my word Microsoft Word and then I just uh, it's a lot there is different story I, I think so I should not tell you what the, what I did so that I get the span okay um, next page okay so So th these are the like uh, I think I should close it so its size a little bit bigger. Following are uh, the key steps involved in color reduction of a car. So the first thing you need to do for like in your in your coding or your program, you need to actually convert or read your image. Means you whatever image you are like. From your SD card or from and there are other and many inputs, your, your, uh, from your webcam or different other inputs, from capturing an image and read it. The, you, and like, for example, your project is you have to capture the image of a car from outside, from any other any other place, and you need to read it, convert, and tell them what the color of the car. Maybe this is the project. So, but just you need to think of it how can you read that image means how can you get the values from the image the next step you need to convert your image into hsv hsv is a huge saturation value you know what actually the image have some other like features also they have they have the brightness there are the saturation level there are different things but you need to minus all this thing you need to take on the actual value of the color okay so you need to convert your image to hsv i'm so sorry i don't know what happened it was my roll number okay sorry you need to convert it into hsv this is the second step you need to do third step how we use hsv value to direct name now you need to uh, like um, you need to think that how can you use these values you can convert these values then you need to think th 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 these are there may be different different values how can you use these values and you need to tell that this is the color it's a pink color red color white color you need to think there are different ways I used uh, two methods one method and method number two the first method is that uh, get the pair coordinates u and v of a for a car or its neighborhood means for example this is your car okay so there are other things also in the picture there for example there is a tree there's a moon there's other things you need to like know that 
this is this point this color value is from the from car like this is you need to like focus where is your car this is and this is one logic how you know that the car is here you need to get the one coordinate u and v means two values x and y of your car uh, for your car and uh, some other values from its neighborhood also okay this is the one thing you need to do then what you will do detect color name of using hsv value of that coordinate hsv value there is a different scale for hsv value different values tell different colors okay i will tell you in detail in uh, like uh, in uh, like coming video so uh, first you need to know the coordinates some coordinates of its neighborhood then what you need you need to use these value chart and you need to tell the color this is the one step one method second method what you can do you can get multiple coordinates of a car not just single and its neighborhood not only single and its neighborhood you should get this one this one this one this one there are different coordinates okay so that you will get the uh, like uh, pure result okay detect color name of car using hsv value multiple coordinates make an average or something like that and then you will use that average value to from the hsv value chart and you will get the answer so let's go down okay some detection results and uh, this is what my assignment was i just showed some different uh, results and there was a complete good yay you are happy yay okay sorry i don't know what happened let's go down first step you need to read an image for example this is the for example this is a picture okay so how can you read it i think so i should reduce it a little bit so that i get the complete code of that okay <coughs> so sorry for example this is the picture it's a purple color i know that because my eyes are telling it but computer can tell not tell you like that the first thing uh you need to read the image from this command i am read okay i'm just uh, I think so I should use this green color. Use this uh, command, I am read and read the image, okay? And put the image, result of that image in this, okay? Then what you need to do, use this image uh, data and image rat. There are different, uh, like, uh, there are three channels of the image, one, two, three, and the channel one will tell you the red part, channel two will tell you green part and channel three will tell you blue part so you need to like put uh, separate because this is a uh, 3d result huh? so you need to uh, separate all channels red green and blue to image red image blue and image green okay channel one will uh, red uh, three is blue and two is green okay this is the uh, uh, next step, okay? Then what you will do, you need to plot it. See, I just plot it. Red part is this, blue part a little bit lighter, and green part is this, okay? When we will mix it, we will get this uh, purple color. Okay, so let's go down. Okay, uh, this is what uh, what I did. I just showed this image, I am show with the command of I am show, okay? Oh, they are just, I'm just showing it now. So, this is the first step. Uh, we just read it, okay? Second step, convert image into HSV value. So, this is watch the hue saturation value, okay? This is the picture in the hue saturation value, okay? Okay, as we know, uh, if uh, illumination level changes like brightness and different value, the red, green, blue varies. And if these values, your result will be wrong. So to know actual value, we need to convert, ignoring all brightness and other situations, and we need to convert this into hue saturation value. And what the command we will use? We are going to use the command that is, I don't know where is the code. So this is what I did rgb dash to hsv 
this is the uh, like the whole image whole image i just change it into image 2 means that it's into hs uh, hue saturation value okay so then i just plot it this is the this is the command rgb2 hue saturation the command is r g b 2 hsv okay this is a command okay okay this is a command i am show i just uh, go, like show it to you so the next step is we use these uh, like uh, values i have made function that will take the hue saturation value of rgb values to to as an input and print name of color hue this is a complete program like this is the function hue to color name okay Uh, look at the uh, this is a uh, like function it's it's not it's just a command but inside of this there's a function i just make i am going to show you the detail so this is the chart actually the when the values are like that it's uh, in between yellow the values are in like in between red so this is the chart for hue saturation value okay we can see that the value of color this is also very important thing we should know this is the chart from which we can get this is the function that i created okay i'm just going to a little bit zoom it okay so that you can see this is the function uh, i'm not going to like i'm not going to actually the showing telling you the detail but um uh, you can see if the values are like that the color will be that if the values are like that the value, this is the like to actually the logic the function will receive value of h s v three values r g b three different all all values h s v from the image 2 and r g b from the from the different channels that i have just created so this is the logic if saturation is like from below 1 saturation is above 0 Uh, value is this red is this green is this blue is this then uh, i just followed the chart and created this code then the color is black so this is a chart uh, like programming of the chart so then what we will do this is the first part, uh, one step now one method so you can see in this method i made a separate function for that no technique why i seeing neighborhood okay okay image image to i pass original image in hsv converted image to that function that then i use command to get the input coordinates by clicking on the pixel okay oh my god but um, this is this project is not that much that like you should uh, there are other different uh, techniques i am just thinking about that if there is no user who is going to click on the like Uh, click on the picture that this is the card then there should be some other logic so there should be some other code program that will tell you that car is here from shapes and all this thing thing no? so but in this uh, project what i did i just click on the picture and tell it this is the coordinate okay this is the coordinate so the, this is the coordinate and will take its, uh, its neighborhood okay Okay, so I use that coordinate to get both R G B and H. So that was like it's one year later. I just did this uh, uh, project, but I'm thinking that I should change the these thing a little bit from and uh, thumbs off today. So technique by seeing neighborhood. This is what the from which I we can get the uh, result from neighborhood. this is the code for that i'm just showing it to you slowly slowly so that if anyone can want to copy it can copy it okay okay actual image red image blue image green image okay this is the method number there is other method there's a method number 2 
Instead of click on a single coordinate, check its neighbor. We can also use another technique that I use, like we take multiple clicks, okay? From like from the front, from the back, and different clicks, and then we will get the average. So this is the technique I use. This is the command from which we can get uh, put all the different multiple uh, inputs to that and give the max uh, result average, okay? From this command, max. And like this is the way. I think so. This is the complete code. Screenshot of the correct deduction you can see. I just use it for white color. You can see this. Result was car is white. You can see this is the screenshots. Car is blue. Okay. The car was blue. So this is what my code was doing. So I'm just going to uh, showing you the complete code so that anyone want to copy can can copy it. Okay, this is for free for all of you. Okay, for all of that you can see my code was telling all for gray, for blue, for green. Mm. You can see. For sky blue, even for sky blue as well. But for, for the core I did. Oh my god. Okay, so literally, I would when when I was watching this assignment, I did like so much. That's the reason I got complete marks, full marks. <sighs> that that was my brain. Alhamdulillah. So hopefully you enjoyed this video or for the complete code i will put in description for all of you for free thank you so much for watching for you you need to subscribe my channel you need to share my videos so that i get motivated share my more, more assignments different assignments latest assignments so that it will help you in your exams or in your schools and your projects thank you so much